Welcome back to a new episode of our Not So Berry Challenge. Last episode, we had some new dynamics. One of them being, we had an alien baby. You heard me right on that, alien baby. That wasn't really planned, but I kind of feel like it's gonna play into the storyline with the Rose Jen coming after because she's gotta be like a politician, the super goal-oriented person. She's that way because she's the oldest and also she's maybe not coddled like her younger brother because he was an alien. I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think about that. Overall, I feel like we're doing really well on everything. Our skills are over halfway done. We've gotten promotion. I think we're just under the final tier of the scientist's career, which is awesome. The only thing, that I think we got to finish is the element collection, which I only have three left and we've had three for a while. Anyways, if you guys have any tips or tricks, please let me know down in the comments. Please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. So what I wanted to do before we did anything was we need to build a room for Apollo so that he has his own room. Since he's not our heir or anything, where is our child? Oh, so that way Autumn can have her own room. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna put this other room, but we also needed to build a bathroom. I think I'm gonna build a bathroom like a half bath down here maybe somehow i probably won't film this part though because knowing me and the perfectionist that i am it's gonna take me a second so i'll be right back and i'm gonna show you guys the house since i did a little renovating i figured it would probably just be easier to have the kids just all on one floor so i made his room over here so paulo's room is here i kind of did a blue and green and that kind of thing i did put the apollo statue in here that we got from our career um and then this uh light that was also from our career so that's his room and then downstairs what i did was downstairs i did this little area for like shoes and coats down the hallway i did a little bathroom here and then down here is a little office for jade to do all of her sciencey kind of things that's the little extension on the house. I like the way it turned out. I think it's pretty cute. Let's see, Jade is tired, but our baby is on the floor. So Raul is not tired. So I'm gonna send him in here to, oh, there's a diaper. Oh, that's one thing I forgot actually. I need a trash can in here because they, I don't know. I wish like Sims team, can we please fix that? Like the trash? actually goes in a trash can rather than like when you change their diapers instead of on the floor. Thank you, that would be great because I get real tired of having to pick up diapers. Put her to bed. Just being such a good day though. Is she stinky though? All right, so he's dealing with her. Apollo's just chilling in here like the blue baby that he is. <laughs> And we're sleeping, so that's great. He's up to take a shower. Who's calling? Oh, hi, Raul. I'm calling to let you know that his mom. Oh, no, really? No, Alfaba. Hang on a minute. Okay, Woo. I thought that was his mom, but who is that? Oh, it's the magical chick. Okay, alien baby cries. Fantastic, right? What does she want to do? Be friendly with Raul? Oh, she wants to talk about fears. He's in here, right? Or is he? Where, where are you at, bro? Can you hurry up with your bath, please? Now you talk about your fears. Also, can we please fix this? But the clipping with the stairs, like, can we can we fix that, please? She's like, I feel like you're gonna leave me because I got pregnant by alien. <gasps> Maybe that's why she feels like that. She got pregnant by aliens and maybe she feels like he's mad about it. So maybe he's like gonna leave her because of it. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Y'all were up late last night. You had a baby, you know, <laughs> just the normal Sunday morning in life. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So his friend, Faba, died and now his mom. Oh my gosh. 
Why is our toddler's phone ringing when it says that she doesn't have a phone? That's bizarre. Apollo, seriously. Stop crying! There's nothing wrong with you. Unless you're hungry or something. But dude, we haven't... Okay, she's on it though. She's crying baby, crying baby, crying baby. Fine. Go tend to your alien child. Ugh. Oh, so he's going to be extra sad now from losing a friend and a parent. So that's great. We're not really sad about it, though, because let's be honest, his mom kind of low-key judged us all the time. <laughs> She was like, why are you dating this crazy lady who is a scientist and likes aliens and stuff and got pregnant really fast again? And I don't know though, like obviously I'm pretty sure Raul knows that it's an alien baby, but at the same time, like I feel like, I don't know. I, I'm not 100% sure if he knows, but I feel like you would know if your baby was blue. And we're already at parenting level three. That's crazy. And now he is stinky. So why don't we, or is he stinky? Oh my God, stop it, game. It just does. Uh, why? Dude, no, there's a trash can literally right there. But, you know, put it in there. That's fine. I guess that works too. I can't tell if he's stinky or not. I guess. Do we know? Will we know who the dad is of the alien baby? Like, does, do they show that? I don't, I don't know. Is that a thing? While we're out here and while everybody is sleeping, why don't we spy on the neighbors to up our mischief? And then we will sell all of our mushrooms and water them. Just have a nice day outside in this fall weather. It's just the beginning of fall, so we are almost to level seven of mischief. We just started level seven of logic, so we're 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 getting there. We are still looking for those last three elements. I feel like all of these I have. Let's see our thing is in here now. I also got them a minivan because I felt like that was fitting. Yeah, we have all those moments. So this is our minivan. <laughs> I figured family of four probably oops you know what I forgot I forgot foundation there we go but I'm keeping these because sometimes you need elements to make stuff at her work so and then we have fear of ghosts fear of cheating fear of the dark and fear of death oh Raul is on it oh my gosh he is so amazing dude I love you <laughs> I love this guy he actually takes care of his babies <laughs> Oh my gosh, we are so close. I saw that. I saw that. We were so close to leveling up. So go back and do that again. Dude. Yeah, 97% complete. Yeah, we can do this for like two more minutes. Okay, level seven of mischief. Perfect. I'm gonna just let her do this one more. Well, maybe not because she's very playful and I don't want you to like get hysterical or anything troll the forums instead meanwhile he's still up here just being a cute little bean ah he's just loving on her and cuddling with her and now he's go off to cook a family meal oh my gosh dude you are amazing okay she has one day until she ages up into a full toddler so i am excited about that because then that means we're closer to being able to actually do things with her, which is great. Mm -hmm. He was thinking about his mom. Oh, baby. Oh. Meanwhile, parents are just downstairs chatting up a storm, having their lunch. I just love them so much. She's very energized now. Got a new baby. Discovered thyself from getting the bookworm trait. One step at a time, confronting her fears. She's decorated. You're welcome. Feeling happy. Morning sim. So yeah, that's why she boosted her skills. So great. Um, and emotionally mindful is how she's feeling. So I mean, at least she's, you know, getting there. She's, she's, she's getting there. And he's feeling enamored 
by her. New baby he's excited about. I'm not, but whatever. He's feeling fulfilled. Losing his mom, so he is sad about that. And not enough exercise. Since you haven't had enough exercise, why don't you go for a jog so that you can get that. And then as far as you go, our freaking alien baby is crying again. I guess we'll see. I don't know. Is he that cute? We don't <laughs> we don't know. Not really sure how to feel about that whole thing. Okay, so while you're in here, why don't you sit down and read your logic book? Now that he's happy, Raul's on his jog and Autumn is sleeping. So yeah, read your book. Do we need to buy the new? We might need to buy the other book now. Uh, okay, we're gonna need the level three. Yeah, so we'll need the level three of logic, this one, and the level three of mischief. Let's go ahead and read the logic level three. And he's happy. Yay! Oh my god, look at all these bottles. Why do they not just put them in the trash? I don't know. It's beyond me. Why did they make it this way? Why? Okay, here she goes. Are you gonna read it now? Raul's taking out the trash like a good dad. Both the kids are asleep. I love it when they're both asleep. It's fantastic. <laughs> they're not like screaming. They're not crying. A few moments later. And you're stinky too, Holly. And then baby care, change all the diapers. And then there'll be a dirty diaper on the floor for me to pick up. How dare you put me down? <laughs> Let's try some of these things that we haven't really... Or, dude, I literally just changed her diaper. He just really loves to rock with her. He just loves doing this. He did this last episode too. Oh, she's just laughing. So cute. Who is it? Dwayne. Ugh. He would like to come over and hang out. Uh, if you're gonna help with my kids, maybe. Whatever, Dwayne. We're just kind of rolling with it. We don't love Dwayne, but well, sh he don't. You don't like him very much. And now Dwayne's like, ew. She had children with a different man. <laughs> Dude, he was stalking us for a hot minute, so you know. Oh, Dwayne's going upstairs to put our baby back where she belongs in her cage. Now that we've got the kids under wraps, like we've got the kids chilling out. Oh my gosh, what? Oh my gosh, I've never seen that before. All right, she's in bed and they're in bed. Oh my gosh, this was like the smoothest night ever. So yeah, check on their baby and then check the mail. Please have elements. Please have elements, please. Let's just see. This is gonna be tough. Just read a little something to kind of get a head start. The time just flies by, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, so I feel like him and her are both gonna, like, they're both gonna age up pretty much on the same day, which is gonna be awesome, because she ages up today. So I'll age him up today, too. That's gonna be perfect. Time to answer the calls of the, the crying children. So she's on that baby. All right, all right, all right. So she's a. It's, it's like you got her over here and him over here. They're both taking care of the babies. That's just. Isn't that parenting in its finest? He just loves her. Off to cook pancakes. Because heaven forbid we have leftovers. Again, he's in the rocking chair. Yeah, she's definitely gonna be a daddy's girl. I think she's gonna just love being with her dad. Not that she doesn't love her mom too, I think, but Jade's just, she's so like kind of sporadic and crazy. Like <laughs> she's just kind of, um, she's a different kind of personality. We'll say that. Oh, oh, she wants to talk to relationship fears again. Oh, he brought her down here. What is this? What is tummy time together? Oh, oh. Oh, is she teaching her how to crawl? I bet you that's what that is. Oh, he's like over here cooking and they're like over here. Oh, she is. She's going to go get the toy for the town. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute this is. Oh, look at her. She's so adorable. I love this so much. Adorable. Cutest little baby ever. 
I can't wait till she ages up. <laughs> I want to know what she looks like. Okay, our work starts in an hour. So our, her days of just eight, like leveling up stuff in the morning are pretty much over. We're level four parenting. Wow, we're like rolling. And then today, yeah, it's her birthday. And birthday. They literally have the same birthday. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Yay, work. We don't have to do anything with babies at work. <laughs> Analyze fruit or flower and mix slimify serum okay um so i guess we can analyze fruit or flower go analyze your things order co-worker to garden okay and they say that there's nothing to garden but we'll put stuff in here to garden so we did that oh we gotta mind control someone to clean and then the slimify serum what do we need for that. Two parsley, two carrots. Do I get expensed for buying all the plants? Okay, we got sage. Please be parsley. Okay, fine. Herbs. Give me parsley. Seriously, why are you giving me sage? So much sage. Seriously, it still gave me, give me freaking parsley. <gasps> oh my gosh, it did it. It finally did it. It finally did it. Go. Oh, probably would help if I pressed play. Oh crap, we've got to pee. Okay, good. She didn't wet herself this time. Yay! Because <laughs> that happens all too often. Now go make your slimify. We're really close. We're getting there with our, our bar. Mix that serum. Oh no. Should we stay late? Only on good, so I think I will. Oh, we have to have a deep conversation. Hinata, don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I don't know where anything is anymore. Okay, cool. So now we can go work on our rocket. And also, I think this hanger is so cool. Look at her go. <laughs> our big rocket hanger. Oh, I think it's cool anyway. Oh, and she's all excited about this. She's energized. I love rocket science. Oh, that's so cute. She's such a cutie. Oh my gosh. Do not blow your head off, please. All right. We're level two of rocket science. Nice. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop it. We didn't get a promotion, but I feel like we made good progress. And now it's time to age our babies up. I'm excited about that, as you can tell. <sighs> oh, we have bills. Oh, ew, ew, ew. We also still want to talk to Raul about our relationship problems. So why don't we do that really quick? <gasps> Where's our baby? <gasps> oh my gosh, she's upstairs and she's stinky. Yeah, we'll talk about this first. Did we talk about our fears? I guess we did. And I saw it. I saw the age up option. Oh! And then I'm gonna have Raul age up. Where is it? Baby care? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. I'm excited. Okay. So we have to select a trait to replace Sunny, which she's red. So charmer, toddlers, love to socialize. Okay. Communication skills gain faster, which is something good they can share the love with other sims which i mean so the second generation rose which is going to be autumn she has to have the serial romantic trait which i'm not excited about but i feel like charmer really fits um fussy tiny troublemakers who love to cry cause trouble throw fits but being noticed makes them happy and makes them overcome their negative moodlets that's also really fitting Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna go with Fussy because I just really feel like her not being noticed because of maybe Apollo is just, yeah, I think that's gonna be a good fit. So cute. Oh my gosh. And then he's in here aging up Apollo. We'll just quickly scoot over here. Oop. They like to watch the world. Are less likely to cry and become angry. Ah, explore the world on their own. That kind of would make sense for him because I feel like because he's not from there that he would probably be kind of like, oh my gosh, this is all so different and weird. But then again, he probably doesn't know any better either. Let's do one, two, three. Okay, calm. Calm it is. And he is still blue. Are they always blue? But there we go. We've got our cute little Babalaroos. Oh my gosh. I love her so much. Oh, That's so cute. 
He's really sad. So, oh, poor Raul. I feel so bad for him. Okay, everyone's asleep. Oh, poor guy. He's crying. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Well, we did quite a lot. And ooh, look at the stars. I am really happy with our little baby toddler. Oh my gosh. Autumn is so cute. I love her. And Apollo is interesting. Of course, again, I wasn't going to change any of his appearances because I don't I don't want to change his appearances until he gets older. Oh, you know something I should check really quick? Technician 3 is his mother, other mother. So there's two moms of Apollo. So Apollo comes from to an a, a female alien. <laughs> so interesting. I'm not really sure how that works. I'm not, I'm not totally against him at all. I think it's going to be okay. It's just going to be kind of weird having an alien baby. Has four days till he ages up into a toddler. And then she'll have six days until she ages up into a child. And then we can start working on her traits and some of the things that we have to do for the Rose Generation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments down below what you think about baby Apollo and him aging up into a toddler and let me know what you guys think about our little toddler autumn also if you guys have any tips about the 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 elements please 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 comment i am begging for a comment at this point um about how to get the rest of those dang elements because we're so close and i will see you guys next week for another one bye